Welcome everyone. Hey, my name is Eugene and this is my little bitty cooking show for you to eat. And uh, I am all about whole foods, plant-based cooking. Oh, and uh, doctor's orders, no oils. I bet I got something good for you. And if you want to adopt a healthier way of eating, come on in, check it out. I know it's been a while. I'm sorry. I'm back. Hey, I got a great Indian dish to share with you. I'd been going to a local Indian restaurant here, and they've been making some food up special for me. Whole foods, plant-based, no oils, all that good stuff here. They did sneak some oils in on some of the dishes, and I had a chat with them, and they told me about this dish here. Typically, it's made with chicken. Hadi Ali. The Hadi Ali paste is the base of this here, and you can put it on vegetables. And typically, uh, in the Indian cooking, from what I know, they'll, they'll put it, of course, with the vegetables. They'll put chicken on it. But hey, we're not. Eating, I'm not eating no chicken. So if you want, you're, you're uh, you know, you're not into whole foods, plant based. You can put chicken on it. It's good. But you know what? I'm going with the whole foods, plant based, no oil version. Come on in. I'm going to show you how to do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, let's get that cutting board out. I got one pound of fingerling potatoes. Any potatoes you like will work. Chop them into bite-sized pieces. We want them suckers cooking evenly, don't we, huh? All right, three big carrots. Chop them up. Make them look something just like that. Throw them in your big pot. Cover with water. Let's get it boiling here. When those suckers are almost done there, your potatoes are just starting to get a little bit tender, let's go ahead and throw in the cauliflower. Then we want to stir it up. We want to go ahead and cook them for about two minutes. Drain it and set aside. Let's get the blender out. Yeah, we're going to stuff it with some greens. Let's throw in our spinach. Let's throw in our salad cilantro. Let's throw in our mint. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of fenugreek leaves. About a tablespoon or so of them bad boys. Big, big handful of fresh basil. I added a cup of uh, veggie broth in there with all them greens there and slowly work it up. Hey, you want to give your uh, spinach a nice chop before you throw it in there. You ain't going to hurt my feelings. Get it down to where it looks like a paste, something like that. Go ahead and set that aside. Hey, we're on the home stretch now. Get your knife out again. We're going to chop us up some onions. We're going to chop us up some ginger. Give it a nice chop there. Got four dried hot red peppers. Let's saute it. Throw it in your pan. Add a little veggie broth as you need it as you go. About a half cup will start. That'll get you going. That'll get you going. When it's almost sauteed, starting to look translucent, add two big whopping tablespoons of miso so paste. Going to give it some of that umami uh, salty flavor going there. All right, let's take everything. Put your potatoes, carrots, cauliflower into your big pot. Go ahead and throw your Hariyali paste in there. Throw in your sauteed onion and garlic. Give everything a good stir. We're going to put in our spices, the garam masala, the turmeric, the chili powder, and any other spices you want to throw in there because this is your dish. Give it a good mix there. We want to simmer it for about 20 minutes and it starts looking like this. Oh boy, your nose is going to be smiling and your taste buds are going to be ready and so let's get us a big old heap and helping. Oh, I can see that oh, that green sauce looks so good. I was a little worried that I didn't make enough, but I made just the right amount. And that's my little bitty Jack of Wawa, Jack Russell Terrier Chihuahua out there begging to come in. He's kind of in the doghouse now. He, he made a mess that uh, I don't want to talk about it. All right, so let's go ahead and make this look pretty. I'm going to put me some red, roasted red pepper on that. Is that authentic? Hell no, I doubt it. And let's put some uh, chopped up some basil leaves, some cilantro leaves. And then let's uh, give it a finishing touch with some pistachios. There you go. I give to you my take on Hadi Ali veg. Uh, traditionally, I think in a lot of the Indian dishes, of course, they'll make it with chicken. And of course, they do a vegetable dish as well. Hadi Ali veg. I guarantee it's going to taste good. Oh yeah, take a look at that. Now, hey, of course, now this here's going to be good here. I'm serving this up with some hibiscus tea, good for my blood pressure and all of that. This here is a no guilt dish, whole food, plant-based, no oils, very limited sodium. The only sodium that, ha that we have in it 
is the miso paste and of course any natural sodium that's in the food, uh, that, that's in the vegetables and the like. And of course with my, my bread here, there's a little bit of sodium in it, but there's no oils, okay? We, we're going to stay true to the program. Let's check this out. Mmm. Mmm. Very flavorful. The pistachio gives it that little bit of extra something on it. It's got a little bit of sweetness. I can taste the raisin. I'm giving this dish a two thumbs up. If I had three thumbs up, I'd give it three thumbs up. It is that good. And of course, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Check the link down below for some of the ingredients that may be a little bit different or a little, you know, you may not be able to find them just anywhere here. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Click subscribe. I'm back. There's going to be a lot more fun stuff to come. Bye now.